Munda, Tana Wood, Nan Kukutio, VP, Habariako, Nani, Yeira, Mayan Pemena, Avu, Komushtao, Yoshto Be Obrigado Muraho, Amakurian, Mumezeneza, Alama Toko, Yaraba Nare, Wanch, Bulimusha Delo, in the Nilimusha, Aliwana Nilinjani, Minania P. Jaram, yo alla okoreng jan e sutura. Eko kale o she dada le wa dada le mi wa o. Amahoro, mura kome, she wenda kome. Dumela mbatu fa baate ke thavetu vale lona kaje. Salam, then I still linking them na lap. Uma rambura, libotio, fofo, matarango, matazanke, aigo bani samai. Salam alaikum, onom bada, adseli. Orai magasimba ya mese mese ini ndi ripoa. Onge piva kwe amandili na. Bande kuba mama ba papa mote mingi nzali malamu. That's no rap song. It was hello in 20 languages from Africa. We are the Mandela Washington Fellows of 2016 at Cambridge College in Massachusetts. Want to know our story? This is it. Education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world. The wise words of Nelson Mandela. Our journey began in 19 different countries when 25 of us were selected as Mandela Washington Fellows to be hosted in Boston by Cambridge College. The Institute provided us with six weeks of academics, learning, cultural events and community service. In the second week, we visited an after-school program in South Boston called the Paraclete. It provides a fun learning environment for kids from low-income families in its local community. We also taught the kids about Africa, where we come from, our differences, but more importantly, our similarities. As part of our community service, we got to hang out with the kids and exchange stories about our different cultures, languages, and understanding the American way of learning. Inspired by the experience, Ibrahim, a fellow from Niger, wanted to share his skill as a software engineer by developing a customized app for the paraclete and the children that they serve. One of the biggest challenges for kids from low-income families in Boston is getting into better high schools by passing the SSATs. One day my daughter came, came back from school and she just threw her bag and then picked up my phone and she wanted to play a game. So what she did is she, when she picked up the phone she entered a PIN number, that was four digits, and uh, she just unlocked it and started playing Candy Crush. Uh, I was really impressed by it because she was only three years old and um, I was wondering, you know, um, what else can you do? Can you count to ten, for example? And she just wasn't able to count to ten, even though she was able to enter a four-digit four phone number, a uh, four-digit PIN number. Yeah. Um, after that, I wondered, you know, with all the money we're spending in school for these kids to have a good, proper education, they're still not doing a good job. And why is that? Uh, this is simply because you know, not all children are, are the same. They all learn differently. Some are more visual than others. Some just like reading, some like listening, some like discovering. And uh, the, school, the, the school system is based on only one, one track, I would say, one way of teaching. And a lot of, pe a lot of kids are left behind because they're not being cared of. Uh, what I try to do is to create a system that allow those kids that are more visual than readers to um, learn about the same lessons, to, the same, to have the same opportunities, to open their mind to uh, school and knowledge by playing video games based on visuals. A kid that plays violent games all, the, all day can only have violent behaviors. Uh, the project's goal is to uh, turn all these school lessons into video games. Coming here, I identify the same problems with American kids. Just like home, they rather spend hours, countless hours, playing video games with their devices instead of doing anything else constructive. 
and violence only begets violence. Wasting no time, Ibrahim got to work. He only had two weeks to develop and launch the app. However, it was something he could share with the entire cohort of 25. Zakia, a fellow from South Africa, managed the project of developing, launching and documenting the process. Joe, a filmmaker from Zimbabwe, began filming what we call Project Legacy with the help of Golda from South Sudan and all the other fellows. This included engaging a local American musician to write and compose a soundtrack for the documentary. I heard about what they were doing. They were looking for a local artist to uh, basically make a song for the background of their documentary for the soundtrack. And uh, you know, I, I liked what I heard. I liked what the, uh, the vibe was. And so I was like, yeah, I'll definitely jump on this. It's time to so we can celebrate in each and every phase. We are the human race. So it's our time to shine. Humankind combines the most higher line. So I decide to co sign designs made for uplifting these young minds. This kind of description is one eye. Thank you all to welcome the Nelson Mandela Fellows once again to our community. We are so fortunate to have these wonderful, intelligent, loving, caring adults today to come along our side to support us as we develop math and English le arts learning. Right now, I'm going to introduce you guys to an opportunity. We had a... Does anybody have a smartphone at home or play with... Does anybody play with an app on their phone? Hi kids. Hi. My name is Ibrahim. Can you say that? Ibrahim. What? Ibrahim. I didn't hear the clap. There you go. That's for me. All right. Uh, I'm from Niger. Who knows Niger? All right. Uh, this is an app I made just for you. Okay. Uh, and it shows it shows a few things. It does a few things, but basically it's to help you learn math. All right. We launched the app with great success at the Paraclete. And in no time, the kids were hooked on what we essentially call the math video game. Taking turns, they all experienced the magic of the app, which they could use offline, at home, not restricted by internet access. I played the app and it was fun because it, um, wasn't just about learning, but it was about, it put it in a fun way. It has to do with studying with stuff, then outside playing on video games. I can read a book and understand what I'm reading, but the app also makes it fun. If you just want to read, then you can. It has the stuff that's going to be on your test. And, and why I prefer the, um, the app is because that you can learn like if it was the book, but you wouldn't have to read like a lot of tiny words. Paraclete started and was founded 20 years ago by Sister Anne Fox and Barry Hines. Um, it was founded to, um, at the request of mothers in the community, to have an academically focused program for children in the community so that they could better themselves. An app is just perfect for what we do here because we are all about um, different types of learning so um, visual learning auditory learning and not just lecturing and writing on the board and the, the, like what you would see in a more traditional classroom um, I like to the hands-on philosophy um, the fact that um, everyone at Paraclete seems to describe themselves as lifelong learners and we're always looking for ways to be better um, about teaching and have, how do we get through to the students. So I think like this app is just a perfect example of, um, of that. Well, I never thought that Paraclete would have a opportunity to have a learning app developed from somebody from Africa. I lived and worked in Silicon Valley before. Um, I worked with technology companies and then ended up serving on our board here at Paraclete. So my experience has been that 
software is developed um, in the corridor in Silicon Valley or in and around um, here on Kendall Square, Harvard, MIT. Um, I never thought that our students would benefit from a software engineer's capabilities from Niger. And um, I think it's fantastic that they know that this tool is being developed by um, a father from Niger who is a software engineer who's incredibly talented and dedicated to serving young people. Following Mandela's dream of changing the world through education, this is our legacy as the Mandela Washington Fellows 2016. Create a new vision for the children's acquisition. Continue this new tradition. Recognition from a presidential position. Spiritual nutrition, and this is the new edition. Whether writing raps or making apps or putting it all together in a film or a class. Inherit each merit that brings clarity Communities give opportunities just like the paraclete Hanging out with the Mandela fellas Boys and girls getting ready for the next era New technologies, modernized ideologies No apologies when it comes to me speaking honestly Just looking for a new solution